I want to talk to you right now about sol <coughs> graphing an equation using a table of values. Uh, what we have here is a linear equation, y equals 2 thirds x minus 4. It has an infinite number of possibilities. I can pick anything I want for x and use the math 2 thirds times that value minus 4 to find a corresponding y value. Now, we should choose values of x that go up by a constant amount. If I do that, then my y values are also going to show a pattern. Also, since the coefficient of x is a fraction, if I pick values for x that 3 goes into, that is multiples of 3, uh, then my fraction is going to cancel out. I'll be left with whole number values for y. We don't want to graph fractions. That's not a um, very accurate way to get an equation of a line. So, I'm going to pick values of x that go up by 3, uh, and I'm going to start at negative 6, negative 3, and 0, 3, and 6. So, with those equations, those values of x, let's figure out what our y is. I have 2 thirds Instead of x in our original equation, I'm going to use the value that I picked for x, which is negative 6, subtract 4. Okay. That's the original equation with negative 6 subbed in for x. 3 goes into negative 6 twice, so I'm left with 2 times negative 2 gives me negative 4. Subtract 4 gives me negative 8. If I want to write that, as a point. Remember our x goes first and then our y, so this is the point negative 6, negative 8. I'm going to do that again, except this time I'm going to use negative 3 as my x value. So I have 2 thirds times negative 3 minus 4. 3 goes into negative 3 once, so I'm left with 2 times negative 1 gives me negative 2, subtract 4 gives me negative 6. And if I write that as a point, I get negative 3, negative 6. The next point I've picked is a very easy one. 0 is a wonderful number to work with. 2 thirds times 0 minus 4. 2 thirds times 0, anything times 0, gives us 0. Subtract 4 gives us negative 4. So the third point I'm working with is 0, negative 4. We could do that for the next two points as well, subbing in 3 and 6 for our x value in here, uh, and figuring out what y is. But you may also have noticed a pattern by now. Our y values started at negative 8, went to negative 6, then negative 4. They appear to be going up by 2. So our next value will be negative 2. And for 6, our value is going to be 0. That continues to go up by 2. So my last two points I'm going to graph are the point 3, negative 2, and the point 6, 0. Now let's turn over this, and you'll see I already have my uh, graph started here. These are the points that we're going to graph. Negative 6, negative 8 means I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 down, way down here. Negative 3, negative 6. Go negative 3, negative 6. 0, negative 4. 3, negative 2. And 6, 0. And there are some nice straight lines at this point. Just 
draw my line through them. You should always draw the line through the point. Don't stop at the point, so that will be a line segment. Put arrows on the end. And the last thing you do is label the equation with the equation. And in this case, it's y equals 2 thirds x minus 4. And that is how you graph a line using a table of values.